Welcome to Connect with Extraordinary. My first guest starting in a, on the series for Elder Care Matters is Janet Simmons. Janet is the director of the Council on Aging for the Town of Sandwich, and I would like to introduce her to you today. Thank Jan, you. welcome to our show. Thank you, Mary Beth. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you, and I think it's a great beginning for our series right. on elder care. Where does somebody start if they have information that they need for a loved one, for themselves, if you're a health care provider? Where do you start but the Council on Aging? So talk to me about this. What is okay. it? What, what is your mission? And uh, what do you do? Let's start there. Okay. Um, the Elder Care Network can be extremely complicated. We try to uncomplicate it as much as possible. We're uh, a town department for the town of Sandwich. We're funded uh, by the town of Sandwich, and we do get a small grant from the state. So we um, are the, the focal point in the town for aging issues. Okay. We deal with people primarily 60 and over, and our mission is to advocate for their needs, be it health, education, um, safety. We have an outreach coordinator, which we can get into later. But we, we are pretty um, up on what's available for people. If families, we've had families call that their loved ones are out of state, we can tell them really where to call, what type of questions to ask, and vice versa. We've had people that call from out of state about their loved ones here in, in Sandwich, and um, it, it does um, help them to know what questions to ask, where there are services, and. Every state runs a little different, every town runs a little different, but um, you know, here in Sandwich we try to uh, do as much as we can. Well that brings me to another question. The Council on Aging, is that in every town? In Massachusetts it pretty much is. Okay. Um, in, the, in the national scheme there's not, there might be area agencies on aging and they go by counties, but we're very fortunate in Massachusetts. We have a very, very comprehensive elder network. Um, so every town has a council on aging. Some of the rural towns out in Western Mass might be uh, volunteer boards or something like that with volunteers running them. But there is, in every town, there is a council on aging uh, that you can go through. Okay, so each town has their own council on aging. And from that, there's a national council on aging. Okay. And is that the umbrella? for all of these councils for each individual town? Not really. Okay. Uh, that's where it gets complicated. Okay. Uh, there is a National Council on Aging where some federal monies flow through okay. and then down to the state level. Okay. In the state level, we have mask, at, we have um, Executive Office of Elder Affairs. Oh, They're sorry. the state sure. um, department that we kind of funnel up through. Okay. So the federal money goes through them down to the county agencies, which on Cape Cod is, um, Elder Services of Cape Cod and the Islands. Okay. So it, that's where it gets all complicated. Where the town department, Elder Services is the county um, area agency on aging. So, oh. you know, we work closely together. Sure. But they can do some things we can't. So who's funding all of this? The, um, there are monies that come through the Older Americans Act through the federal. Okay. Those monies come down to the states and then the nutrition program, um, some protective programs, those kinds of monies come down through the state into their local counties. For the, our towns, we get funded through our town, our tax dollars. Okay. Uh, we get funded a small, what they call formula grant, which is based on our population 60 and over. Which is another great point. Right. Because let's talk specifically on Cape Cod, mm. the statistics of our elder population yeah. Can you speak about that? It's very scary um, because we're, we're always looking 10 years out to see where the population is going. Uh, we've done this here in Sandwich for quite a while because we're, you know, we, we know the population's growing. So in, in Sandwich, we are right now 29%, 60 and over of the town's population. The town's population is 20%, uh, 20,000, I'm sorry. Okay. So we're sitting about 5,700 um, seniors. In nine years, we're going to be 49% of the population. It's the baby boomers. 
But that's not just in Sandwich, that's no. everywhere because we have the baby boomers right. who are getting up there in age. Right. So for the baby boomers, for even the, even the younger generation, young adults who are looking towards their golden years, right. in order to have golden years, you need to have programs that address housing, health care, lifestyle, um, who's paying for it? What are the government programs? So on a, on a grand scale, let's begin with the Council on Aging. Okay. Let's talk. What are some of the programs you offer? Okay. We offer, number one, an outreach program. And we have an outreach coordinator, Rita Wallstead, and she is able to help people access programs and services that make their lives easier, okay. make it possible for them to stay in their home. Okay, she so might. for example, uh, um, would it be to, to locate people who could help them at home yes. with, with health care or with mm -hmm. housekeeping or mm -hmm. Meals on Wheels? Is that exactly. the kind of programs you're yes. talking about? Yes. Um, for people that are income qualified, she would definitely um, help them advocate with elder services okay. for just those types of services. It could be that uh, there are other services through the VNA, through private care, things like that. But they would start calling by calling you, right? Because you'd be the compass, you'd be the direction that somebody could take kind to of get the those services, in. right? And so those are for somebody who needs right. a little bit more care right. at home. What other programs do you have, Jan? We can help people. Uh, we're the local intake site for fuel assistance, and that's for over oh, wow. and under 60. We do the entire community. So people can come here instead of Plymouth. So okay. that's something that really is very helpful in, in helping pay for some of your heating costs. Sure, we, especially on a fixed income. Exactly. It's huge. And um, we also um, host uh, the SHINE program, which is... Um, uh, serving the health information needs of elders. So these are volunteers trained and certified by the state. Every year they have to pass an exam and they counsel people on health insurance issues. Right now it's open enrollment, so uh, they're three days a week, almost full time in our office, counseling people on their health insurance. So people go to the Council on Aging building, right. the senior center, yes. that is in Sandwich to, to get the, to become part of this program yes. or to attend mm -hmm. you have set classes and is that something they we could do. call or that you do you have pamphlets on this information we do the shine program is usually one-on-one -on -one, okay. confidential uh, counseling we do have um, educational programs on that subject a couple of times we just had one last two weeks ago actually uh, we have educational programs on um, gosh, different types of insurances, different oh, wow. um, topics such as um, different health issues. We have doctors come in and talk about health issues or, or hip replacements or um, heart issues, things like that, diabetes. Those so kinds informative of programs. programs on health issues. Trying to keep people healthy. Right. Isn't that the focus? Right. Sure. Is, right. is, uh, is health care yeah. and keeping the older population active. Right. So they come to the Council on Aging, mm -hmm. they come to your building for these programs. Do you have any sort of availability for people who might not have transportation to your building? How would they get to your facility? We're, we're really very, very fortunate. We have a van uh, that the town purchased for us about five years ago. The town leases a um, Cape Cod Regional Transit bus which allows us to transport people in wheelchairs because it has the lift. Sure. So that's opened up a whole wow. a whole avenue of people Absolutely. being transported, not only to us, but to doctors, to treatments, things like that. So okay. that's really been um, an amazing benefit. So um, we have those two options. And then we just um, purchased through a donation account a four-wheel drive car. Oh, because wow. in the winter, we were, we were getting stuck. We could not serve people. We could not oh. get them to their appointments. So this will help us um, in the, especially the winter weather. 
So you just said to get people to their appointments, is that another program you provide? The transportation program does um, transport people to medic doctor's appointments. Oh, wow. Some treatments. Um, my gosh, eye doctors, uh, we can bring them to surgery. We cannot bring them home if there's any anesthesia. That's one thing that we cannot provide. Because they need to have um, somebody who is going to be right. accountable for that right. person. I understand you know, that. shopping, errands, um, to the library, uh, to nursing homes to visit friends. Oh, wow. Um, sometimes to restaurants to meet friends for lunch. So it can be used for many, many purposes. To, you know, the purpose is to get them out of the house, out, socialized, and part of the community. Which is a, which is a lifestyle that anybody would want to exactly. maintain. Exactly. So you have programs that discuss economics. You have programs that discuss the medical insurance issue, mm -hmm. Medicare. Yeah. You have programs that discuss um, health topics. So uh, whether it's knee surgery, whether it's um, uh, diabetes or, right. or any other topic that may mm -hmm. be of interest to the elders of wherever town you're in. Right. Well, this is what Sandwich offers, but is this predominantly what all towns offer? Very similar. Okay. Very similar. Um, some more than others, but it, it's pretty much we're trying, every town is trying to meet the needs of our constituents. And if somebody asks for something, we're going to try to find a way to provide that program or service. If you know, somebody wanted a cribbage group. We put that out, and there's enough people, and we have cribbage. Oh, um, wow. Or know, bridge. How about bridge? Bridge. We're having bridge lessons. Um, there are, um, we have a couple of volunteers who actually help people with their learning how to use their iPhones or their iPads. Oh, that's a those terrific types program. Of things. So, Absolutely. Or their um, computers. Exactly. Just, so it's 101. Terrific. Because I was, that was the next thing I was going to bring up is probably you can, access all of this information on a computer mm -hmm. but since we're talking about the older generation yeah. I know from experience my own parents they're just not computer literate right so you offer the program I assume mm -hmm. tell me if I'm correct that would introduce computers to our senior citizens yes yeah. oh, that's we have terrific. computer classes periodically um, you'll find more and more, really, uh, the senior citizens are pretty computer savvy for the most part. Um, well, when you have that, have and it's be. another way of getting people to be a, a, a social, it's like a, a social right. interaction, right. being on computer with friends or being able to Skype. These are huge. And, and we have our own Facebook page, and we never thought we'd do that, but you know, seniors were really kind of doing Facebook with their grandchildren or their families that live out of state. So they're, they're more savvy than, they became savvy quicker than I thought. So and I, it helps. I applaud you for that yeah. because it is, it's a way of communicating to your loved right. ones because if you ask, if you ask the majority, the population, any age, what's important, most seniors will tell you what's important is communicating with family, yeah. friends, Loved ones. Yeah, it's your lifestyle, and it's being able to to live among your friends and family. Mm -hmm. It's not so much money as it is lifestyle and, and being proven. able to have those sort of relationships. It's relationship exactly. with other people, and it, it's proven it keeps people healthier. The more connected you are with with of your course. town or your neighbors or anything, that keeps you healthier. It stimulates your mind. Right. It stimulates knowledge. Um, now, how are we affording all of this? And if you have, I'm from Sandwich, so mm -hmm. I know what your building looks like, mm -hmm. and it is small. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how are people, you know, you have this wonderful program. You have this wonderful ability to, to provide these programs mm -hmm. for our seniors. And by the way, we're all going that way. Yeah. It's not like you know, you're excused. <laughs> you, we're all headed that way. So what's, what's the future of the Council on Aging? Where are we headed? Um, we are headed, um, hopefully, to a new and better facility, the one that is going to help our fitness participants be able to not be shut out of a class because the room is too small. Okay. So we can only fit so many people in. Um, a building that is warm and friendly and welcoming and that, that serves the needs that it's, 
you know, it, it's going to help people come in. They're going to want to come in. They're going to want to stay, perhaps have lunch um, in between attending a fitness program or a lecture or a movie um, or a volunteer meeting. We have over 121 volunteers. So it, it wow. could be that um, we want people to come and linger in, in the building. There's really no place right now that they can come and stay and just be there until something's happening. So this right? is, um, you know, with the increasing size of our programs and we have, you know, starting at quarter of eight, uh, three, four mornings a week, we have fitness programs starting, we have some in the evening. Um, so you, you know, you try to do all that and uh, Saturday programs. And, you know, it's, it's all about keeping people connected, healthy, um, and motivated to eat a good diet and, and do what they're supposed Nutrition. to do to help. Right? Nutrition, exactly. Um, so any plans in the future for a larger building? Because right now I know what that building looks like. Ah, you've been in here. I've been in there, and I, I think it must be restrictive. It is, and I'm, I'm just so proud of the staff. We have um, some great staff, and... Um, Everyone pitches in when we have to change rooms over. The volunteers themselves will pitch in and, and they'll help. We just had almost 60 people at a Halloween lunch on Wednesday. And oh, um, it, was, it was a fantastic event. And you know we had volunteers helping, staff helping. So everybody pitches in and helps. We actually want to do more of that. And, oh, sure, absolutely. And, and I think we, we will. I think we've been working for a long time. We have a wonderful Council on Aging board made up of 11 members. They're volunteers. So we've been working, um, and now we are focused in on a, uh, a senior center we're trying right now to update the feasibility study that was done back in 05. So the architect has given us a price of um, uh, $6,700 to update that feasibility study. So we're going to be looking for funding for that from various sources, not the town, um, to update that to see exactly where we are. That was 14,000 square feet. We think we need probably 16,000, but okay. we don't know. We don't. We can't come to the town and say this is what we want until we know what what your needs what we, are what and need. how to meet those. So how are you? Do you have any? Well, can I go back a bit? Let me go back to um, your board. How does somebody get involved on the Council of Aging? How do you become part of that board? If you're interested in, mm -hmm. in being an active participant in this fabulous program, how could I do that? Oh, we're always looking for board members. Uh, we have 11 members right now. They range from um, um, someone in the media field, uh, actually right here at Sandwich Cable TV, to an elder law attorney, to a retired policeman, uh, a banker, um, it, it's a form of selectman, so it's it's just a very, very eclectic board. We have younger members and older members on the board, which is which fantastic, because yes, the younger you generation is our future. So you just, some people, because they're volunteers. I can't stress enough, they're headed our way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we all want to get there someday. Um, so Glad to see they're on the yeah. board. <laughs> so it's just, they, they're either in a field that they, they're knowledgeable about the Council on Aging and they feel strongly, they want to make a difference and they want to help drive us to that next step, which would be the, uh, a better facility. So Jen, how would I get involved? Or how would somebody that was watching your mm -hmm. show that is saying, I'd like to be a part of that, what would they need to do? Come into the office, we'll have them fill out a volunteer packet, we'll see what area in the Council they'd like to be in involved with. If it's a board member, we ask them to come to meetings. Right now it's a full board, there's no vacancies, but we ask them to attend okay. a, a couple of meetings, get familiar. Sure. Um, but there are so many ways you can help the Council on Aging. We're, we're looking for volunteers to help us provide programs. Uh, we'd like to have someone, you know, maybe an intergenerational course down the, down the road and, and do some more intergenerational programs. So there's a lot of needs for volunteers to help with that. We don't have enough staff to actually oversee things like that. And also the different programs, you have different um, professionals come and speak to yes. um, the, the elder generation, if you will. So they just 
contact you to say I provide this service or mm -hmm. I have this information yeah. and I'd like to mm -hmm. provide this for the Council on Aging? Is that how they would go it about can, doing that? Um, it can, Mary Beth, but it can be that we also go after them. Sure. We might see it in another Council on Aging newsletter. Oh, sure. And think what a great great thing, why don't we do this? And uh, we'll research it and, and try to make it happen. Okay. So it happens all those ways. Some staff member might say, gee, I just heard of this great program, what do you think? And we research it and, and try to see you know, about doing that. If it's an entertainment or something like that, we try to go through the Sandwich Cultural Grant, which oh, is yeah, a, a, a good their idea. council is a great funding source for A lot for of networking us. here. Right. So, so I guess I, I'm going to have that uh, put on the screen is how to reach out to mm -hmm. your Council on Aging here in Sandwich. Right. And if somebody is watching this show and is from another state, another area, and is interested in this sort of mm -hmm. um, program for their own town, they, we can learn so much from each other. Exactly. And by networking with each other. So in the future, do you have any um, benefits to, or any kind of events planned to try and raise money so that we could get a larger facility for you? We do. We have what, um, what people know as the Friends of the Council on Aging. Okay. So they're the fundraising arm. Okay. They're a, a private uh, nonprofit. So they have the ability to raise funds. So as the Council on Aging Board um, zeroes in and we're updating information now, we have to wait for that feasibility study to be updated okay. before we go any further with you know the town or anything. We have to tell the town this is what minimum we need. And sure. that's studying the programs, how many people attend programs, the space needs, the architect studies, all that. So the Friends of is doing some small fundraising. Um, they're doing gift baskets, uh, a oh, raffle nice. for gift baskets. They're looking for grants and foundation money to help out. So they're kind of slowly ramping up, trying to wait for the COA board to get everything updated on the feasibility study and all the information. And then everybody will come together and okay. um, we'll go and ask the community for their support and then see if we can at some point get it on a town warrant. But that takes time. We have to be ready. We have to Everything do our takes homework. Time. And you would need to prepare. Exactly. There's right. steps for, it, right. for each thing. Right. Um, now, when you say gift baskets, is this something they're going to raffle off or will they yes. have an event or do we have any of at that planned at the annual holiday luncheon. Yep. At the annual holiday luncheon in December, they will pick those names. Okay. And um, that's in mid-December. So in meanwhile, done. they'll sell raffle tickets yes. for these baskets? Yes, they'll be around town, probably stop and shop, those kinds of places. We'll certainly have some in our office. Um, and we'll have, we'll have the gift baskets there to, for people to look at. That's terrific. Yeah. I think, I wish I, I knew what those, do you know what those gift baskets are? There's one that's are? Uh, a breakfast one with a griddle. Uh, oh, there's nice. one, I think, um, wine, chocolate, and cheese. Well, now you're talking. Um, so there's another one, I think, a beach theme. Oh, um, that's terrific. And there's another one, and I'm sorry, I don't know what that theme is. That's okay. That'll, that'll that's okay. The so theme. I'm just trying to get it out there yeah. to say Thank you. that's um, something yeah. that is going to, tr th that small event, right. that raffle would be to raise enough money so that you could have your facility assessed. The It'll step help, one. hopefully. It will, right. start, it will start the process right. because um, no, your testing, program voiceful. is phenomenal. Any other programs that you offer that you want to discuss? Well, I think Jan? we should mention that the Friends of are always looking for volunteers. Oh, they need there volunteers you go. to do a lot of events. Okay. So that's another great place. And volunteers younger and older. You don't have to be over 60 to volunteer. Um, so the younger generation coming up is certainly encouraged. Terrific. Do they... Take, um, so w they are looking for volunteers to help out with some of these events that they yes. put on. Yeah, they're, they're planning uh, some big events for next year. They're just kind of in the talking stage, but they will sure. need a lot of volunteers to um, get those events off the ground and, and successful. Oh, that's, that's terrific. So on the screen, we have the phone number Great. for Thank the you. Council on Aging, and you can call Jan mm -hmm. and you can get more information mm -hmm. on how to become involved or if there's a program that you would like or like to know more about. 
Um, Jan, is there a calendar of events on your website, or is there that is. something you're, you're we thinking We have a about? newsletter. I should okay. have mentioned we have a newsletter we publish monthly, um, actually 10 issues. So that is mailed or emailed to over um, 1,800 households. Okay, do you have to get on a mailing list to get into that? Or? You do, or you can go on the town's website and then go into Human Services, Council on Aging, and it's right under Council on Aging. And sign up for the newsletter. Right. We and, welcome that. Okay, and they can also do um, information online. They can go to your website yes. and, and register to become a part of the yep. information that goes out from Definitely. Council on Aging. Yeah. Terrific. Our programs are always being um, changed, and, and there's new programs always being offered every month, so um, we encourage people to look at that. And it's a calendar that yes. will say what each one is yeah. and what the expectations are. And there's some community news in there and um, things that, you know, the public should be. Fraud certainly is a, a huge issue That's with seniors. That's a huge issue for our elders now, right. fraud. Right. Yes, and, and there was just a whole thing on the on the news recently yes. about fraud. So these are really good pieces of information yeah. that I am going to encourage Thank you. Our, our viewers to go to the website, take a look at what programs are out there. If you're a senior citizen yourself, if you have a parent that you would like to get involved, please contact Jan. Please yeah. contact the Council on Aging and see where you can become a part of this, whether you have somebody who would like to be a part of the programs or if you'd like to help out with some of the programs. I think this is a terrific, thank you, terrific thing yeah. that you've got here and I think you do a terrific job and I know a lot of your members on their staff and they're awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I very think fortunate. they're terrific people. Yeah, we have, very, we have great staff and a great board and uh, great people that come into our programs. They're all very, very supportive. So I think uh, we've had great great um, assistance from the town. The townspeople always step up. So we're very fortunate in Sandwich. Well, thank you. But thank, thank you, you for all your work. Thank, thank you. you for all that you do for our elders because I know I'm, 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 I have a parent that yeah. has sought, uh, um, sought after some of these programs yeah. that the uh, senior centers offer in sure. other towns. So I think it's terrific, yeah. and uh, thank you for all that you do. Thank you. thank you for joining us today. And again, on our screen will be more information on how you can reach out to the Town of Sandwich, Council on Aging, and the National Council on Aging so that you can see what's going on in your town and what's going on around the Cape. Thank you.